What's up lads, um, you're probably wondering um, what the fuck is this, this is a, uh, this isn't my Let's Play World, this is, um, sorry I haven't been posting episodes, it's, I actually set up a personal server, it's a three man server that I run on my laptop, as well as I'm, run I'm running Minecraft on my laptop and Camp Studio at the same time, so it's not as much of a ball of shit as I think it is. I, uh, I gave myself all this wool and all these building materials for a reason, I'll show you that in a while. If you didn't already catch it in the video, but this is um <coughs> this is my personal server. Me and my mate Marcus, uh, we are the only two that have played on this server so far, and uh, these are all the builds we've made. It's not much progress. It's only been up for three or four days, and that's why I haven't really been. Well, no, it's been up for four or five days actually. So this is our pissing elevator. It doesn't really work that great because it's on a server, but. Works sometimes, and it gets me to here, which brings me the whole way up the stairs. So um, I don't, I don't want to go up there yet. I'm gonna show you the whole thing. I just want to show you the piston elevator. It's um, Ethos Labs. Ah oh, bollocks! Ah oh, bollocks! It's an Ethos Lab creation. You know Ethos. Ethos. You know Ethos. Right. So this is the um, this is our cave. For some reason I can't get pictures to work that well, they kind of go black, but in a minute you'll see it kind of looks well. So this is the, the, the library living room. 90% of this world is legitimate, but um, my wooden villa is the only thing we've spawned in blocks for. Everything else has been absolutely legitimate. legitimate. Um, this is our mine, so it goes up to here, and there's nothing really up here. There's... Um, this is the back of a building that was made. There's a building on the other side of the wall which I'll, I'll get to, and this is just an entrance to the. This was this was all a cave, and it was kind of cleaned up a little bit and made wide enough for this. And then we have this big huge drop. It's where we got 99% of all our stone and stuff resources. There's a random room that um, Marcus built, so I'm guessing there'll be something done with that. I'm not sure at the minute. This is our cave. You know, it's it's pretty much 90% explored, you know, there's a, not in the furnace. But, uh, this is the, follow, follow, if we follow the path, it's where we, um, kind of harvest our diamonds. So, uh, I'll show you that now. See, this is all the cave here. This, this was this is all a natural cave and stuff, and we ha we've explored most of it. Got as nearly all the resources we could. And then I got fed up because I couldn't find any diamonds in the cave, so I dug straight down. One, I dug it one by one and then Marcus made it two by two by digging beside me. And then we came down all the way until we hit bedrock. And then we dug all out. And we dug out as much as we could. I'll try and do a little bit of a run. It goes that way. It goes this way. For ages and ages. This goes all the way up. There's a couple of turns. A few bits where we found some ores and some diamonds. But this is bas this is all basically just for diamonds. It's gone the whole way up here. And then it just stops and turns around and goes all the way back. So um, there's loads and loads of, we found, I found about in and around 30 or 40 diamonds myself. Just, uh, that was just, um, just from digging almost straight. There's, there's loads of these kind of tunnels that way as well straight down and when you get to the torches we made some lava lights because we hadn't got torches at the time so we dug straight down into a hole dug some lava lights these these are my supplies so there's all my valuables that i found down here these are some shit that i found down here these are all my furnaces for smelting my ores this is Marcus's little area house that's all his cobblestone bullshit and he has nothing in his furnace. But this is his furnace kind of building room, his base of operations. You know, he has mm, a little mine that way and etc, etc, etc. Holy shit, this video is coming up to fucking 500 megabytes. Ooh, the rendering is going to be terrible. Right, so... I'm sorry, you're gonna have to look at me going the hallway. Can you not run upstairs? Oh, I'm hungry. Um, I'm, ju I'm just gonna get rid of most of this spawning stuff when I'm on the way. So, oh no, wait, fuck, ow. All the walls, all the walls I got from giving, I just gave them to myself because um, 
for some reason animals aren't spawning as much as we would like so we can't collect that much wool so I got fed up by walking around for no reason trying to collect wool so I gave myself a lot of wool and then died it all and right now we go upstairs again there's our farm I'll show you that in a minute this is our TV room so there's there's the speakers that happens as well with signs sometimes this is our chest room so you know tools blah 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 dirt random shit like that and this is there there my diamonds and that's Marcus's stuff all my iron is downstairs this is the secret room a lot of secret room it's a secret half of the house this has all been under construction there's an that's the way to my villa this is a little kind of you know abandoned attic-y kind of looking place you know it, it, it's, it's pretty nice looking all this brick is legit by the way it's all smelted cobblestone and uh, we're hired that way no this place none of this place is legit none of this wood or most of the wood is but none of the glowstone and stuff is so I know I didn't I didn't hide my uh, secret entrance very well so this is my um, villa it's not furnished yet but uh, eventually will it's it has a swim pool with some beds and stuff and there's the library these are just some chests I emptied everything out of it most of that's most of this is legit from um, legitimate and there's no easy way of getting down here is there uh, oh that doesn't look safe oh go oh ow 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 e e so I'll show you that's just, that's just a random red brick house and that's our railway car to um our spawn point. I can't seem to change my spawn point because I haven't really looked into it that much, but here's our farm where we farm wheat, pumpkins, melons, um reeds. Now if you're if you're wondering why all the melons and pumpkins are evenly spread is we grow some, harvested them and put them so everything looks nice and aesthetically correct. And there's our, this is our reeds, you know, we're, we're slowly building reeds. And these are our seeds and hoes and bread. And then, uh, that brings me to the little village. Um, we used TNT to clear out all this. I, I did all, we didn't have TNT at the time when we cleared out. This is, this is another cave, it's just a big bullshit cave where creepers like to be. <laughs> um, this is... Our ah oh, bollocks! Not All right, go go go! This is our little. That was see this this that was hit by um a TNT shot out and blew half of this house up. This is the kind of town hall center courthouse -y kind of a place. It's not finished. It's just on the outside of it. This is my little um tranquil square of seats and little pond and stuff, and then. There's a bridge to nowhere. Just a large bridge for no reason. And I just recently finished this today. This is my first bit of pixel art on this server. It's not it's not it's not finished yet. He still has to have a sword, but it's link. With a but oh god. Stop falling into shit, you stupid prick. Alright, so it's not completely finished. But I'm gonna add the sword now after this recording, which is just gonna be some swords there. This is all. This is all spawned in. Everything. Every piece here is spawned in, and I'm gonna get rid of all this so it's not doesn't it. So it's not as bad. So um, that's the main reason why I haven't been posting. If you'd rather, you see, Marcus doesn't know if he would do a dual commentary with me because he's, he, I don't know, he's he's like me. He doesn't like talking to himself when other people are there. So um, we might do a dual com server server survival, and. Either start a new server or take this world and go to another part or just pretend like we did the first couple of episodes of the server and just redo it. So um leave me a bit of feedback and sorry about the whole um not posting an episode three. If I can get one up, I'll get one up in the next maybe Monday I'll put one up, but if not, um I'll leave it at that and that's just a random we kept on Bone meal and trees and it eventually just grew up and up and up and it just fucking fucked up and then we couldn't harvest it all. So that's it anyway. So this is the, this is everything, this is our little main area of operations. You know, we have a little 
this is the way to the minecart if you want to go back to spawn. Maybe build something at spawn so it doesn't look shit. But um, if anyone's like a a server builder or something like that, we'll uh, you can come on and we can uh, just give you an old trial or something to see what the story is. And maybe or if anyone knows anything about servers and can tell me why monsters don't monsters don't spawn sometimes or animals don't spawn or how to set spawns. I'm not using a bucket server, I'm just using the default Minecraft thing because I couldn't really figure out bucket because I'm just, I didn't try. Because the server worked here like this and it worked perfectly fine. So I'm happy with that. And, oh by the way, when we were at Bedrock we got fuckloads of iron, or fuckloads of redstone and gold, so that's where all the tracks and stuff came from. Most of it's illegitimate, but some of it isn't. This is my little um, contraption. Um, that shouldn't have been there, but uh, when you go along, you go up and around, and the character pushes itself back to there, and it didn't get hit by something else, and then it stops here, and then you can restart it by pressing the button, not now you can't though, because I keep hitting the minecart. So, um, I'm going to leave it at that, lads. Sorry about being a failure, but, um, peace out, future.